guys welcome to my channel so recently i purchased a an nc star uh 12 grade shotgun rail and bayonet mount so this is the box it comes in two pieces okay that's the two pieces so initially i don't know how to mount this um i i thought the hole from the bayonet will go over or yeah will go over the the barrel but i'll just show you so with this i think i got this for around 20 bucks I, so i purchased an m9 bayonet just to test it this is a wartec m9 bayonet uh, usually they go for 35 35 bucks 34 35 bucks so i got this for 32 why <laughs> because it's gold it's gold with some stripes um this is not the cheapest m9 bayonet you can buy online i think there's uh, a cheap one for 15 dollars 15 to 18 dollars so this is the wartec m9 bayonet okay so the stainless just plain stainless is around 35 dollars so this is 32 on sale I don't know what's oh yeah it just says wartec okay and it comes with a sheet okay and just cheap sheet that's it so i put the nc star bayonet mount on my tedna p12t i don't know if they still sell this but this is made in turkey Pattern dashing is patterned after the Remington 870 with the release here. Okay, so uh, let me give you my uh, my mods to this shotgun. So first, I put the recoil butt pad, being a 12 gauge really helps, and shell holder that holds one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. I think I think I made a separate video on this holder and a plus two magazine extension magazine extension and this is the the mount okay this is the first piece and this is the tip or the second piece so this was my first time uh, having a bayonet and bayonet mount uh, so I made some adjustments on the NC star so I filed it a little bit on the on some of the edges that uh, prevents the bayonet from sliding in and just push it down still tight but I like it it doesn't uh, rattle There you go. So, solid. Solid. So by adding this or upgrading this, uh, I think I increased the capability of this shotgun. Okay, if I ran out of shells, I can use this. Okay. And if I don't like the, the gold color, I can just spray it black. But this is now my Tedna P12T from Turkey. Oh, this is wrong. Okay, by the way, I forgot to show you. I've been safety checked prior to filming. So there you go. Uh what else what I like about this shotgun might as well uh, tell you that this shotgun like I said it's patterned after the Remington 870 it has a Picatinny rail on top ghost ring side at the back fiber optic front side and this shotgun is threaded threaded so this is removable 
like I said before, I'm a big fan of muzzle brakes because it really reduces the recoil, especially for a 12 gauge. And look at the tip of this brake, like small teeth. If I don't have the, the bayonet, I can use this, okay? Um, what else? I think that's it. There you go. This is my Tedna P12T with some upgrades. And the newest one is the NC Star Vinet Mount. Thanks for watching.